Digital modes such as JT65 and JT9 have been around for several years. When conditions are poor or if using a less than optimal antenna, these digital modes can help you rack up QSOs. With the use of a computer, these modes provide the advantage, using advanced digital signal processing techniques, to recover intelligence from extremely small signal levels that are sometimes indistinguishable from the noise floor. In a recent bulletin from the ARRL, FT8 got a shot in the arm from the league and many hams began operating with this new digital mode. At first logs were not accepted by Logbook of the World, but by the end of August 2017, FT8 was an accepted ADIF mode and Logbook of the World soon followed suit by accepting logs with FT8 QSOs. You'll need a few software utilities to operate in this new FT8 mode and other JT modes as well. The first is the WSJT-X software and it can be downloaded from the Princeton EDU website. As of August 2017, you'll need the release candidate version 1.8. This mode added FT8 support for the digital modes. An optional software utility that works with WSJT-X is JT Alert version 2.10.1. I encourage you to use this optional software with the WSJT-X software as it makes operating in these digital modes much easier. Along with the JT Alert program, there is a call sign database program that you will want to install as well. Both software utilities are shown with the red arrows here. The call sign database decodes call signs and indicates information such as state and location within the JT Alert program. Without getting into too many technical details on how these digital modes function, a somewhat precise time base must be used. To use FT8, just like JT65 and JT9, your PC must be synchronized. There are many software programs available to make sure your PC is synchronized with some standard. One program I found helpful is Dimension 4 from thinkingman.com. The software is free to download and use, and if you are so compelled, you can make a donation to the company. So let's take a quick look and listen of a typical exchange sequence when using FT8. Here's what my screen window looks like for my station operating in digital modes. The top window is the waterfall. The small green red bracket shows what frequency the TX and RX is currently set to. This varies dynamically as you answer CQs. But if you are calling CQ, you'd pick an open slot in the waterfall by just double clicking on the open area on the horizontal line where these brackets are located uh, to an open space that you'd like to work at. In the middle window is the WSJT-X command window. Green highlighted call signs in the left window are folks calling CQ. The right window is your TXRX window. The bottom window is the JT Alert program. You can see green outline call signs are folks calling CQ, and yellow painted cells are folks that I need for my worked all states. You can set these alerts up any way that fits your needs. In the following example, you'll hear WB2REM will be calling CQ. Look at the JT Alert window at the bottom and you'll see his call sign in the yellow with the green outline. As I've stated, I have JT Alert set up to alert me to states I need. Florida is one such state. I double click his call sign which begins the transmission of my maiden square information of 30 FN31. If he heard my transmission, he should respond back with a signal report that will appear in the right hand window here and in red. He heard me, 
so that software automatically, with no intervention from me, sends my signal report to him. If he is responding to my signal report, he should respond with a Roger, 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 to which I will in turn double click on the 73. The 73 turns off the Enable TX. It will finish this transmission. When this transmission is done, I will log the QSO. FT8 is a fast-paced digital mode. Unlike JT65 and JT9, where you have more than 10 seconds to decide to answer or respond to an exchange, with FT8 you only have about 2 seconds. So you'll need to be on your toes a bit. Calling CQ is easier than answering CQ in my opinion, but JT Alert helps a bit with your response times. Many times the other party won't hear or respond to you on their volley time slot. So you'll need to stay poised on the R plus DB and the 73 keys and look in the right window for either the red RRR or red signal reports. Good luck and hope you have fun with FT8 mode.